What's going on, folks? My name is Joe, aka J to the O E. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys stopping by. The Switch has had a long life, seven years. It's a second grader, man. It's in it's in elementary school. It's past pre-K and kindergarten. It's learning its arithmetics. And in the uh, the tech world, it is an old, old, old man. But it has still had some bangers coming into it. And so today we're going to talk about the top 10 games of the Nintendo Switch of all time that I own. <laughs> this is my list and what I've played and what I like. So this is the top 10 Switch games of all time that I own. Let's get this out of the way. I, it's going to be in everybody's list, so it's not going to be in mine. This, these games surpass the list um, are the Zelda games, Breath of the Wild, Zelda... Tears of the Kingdom, Mario, Odyssey. Those are just amazing games. If you haven't played it and you've had the Switch for, for, for more than a year, or if you just have the Switch, get those games. Those are those are the best games on the Switch. I always have my friends start when they uh, get the Switch to buy those games, and they're so good, they're disappointed of all the rest. I don't know if you uh, think that's a good thing or a bad thing, but hey, that's just the way it is. So let's get that out of the way. That doesn't count. Mario Odyssey, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That does not count in my list. Top 10 Nintendo Switch of all time. One of these games for me is Golf Story. Golf Story came super early in the Switch lifespan, and it's still a banger to this day. It is a golf RPG. Even if you're not into golf, and I like golf, it's a really fun RPG, a good, wholesome story. And the mechanics kind of differ it up than just regular golf. You have different missions as you go. It's super fun, super quaint. Golf story, number 10. Number nine, Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread was an amazing Metroidvania. I mean, they named the genre after the game or, you know, after the first game, along with Castlevania. But anyways, Metroid Dread was actually the first Metroid that I completely finished. I don't know if that means it was too easy or not, but for me, I enjoyed it because I actually finished it. I loved the counter system. The Emmys was annoying, but also put a little bit of dread into my heart. Huh? Get it? Get it? Huh? All right, all right, well. You know, that's fine. It was just really cool how even though it's a little bit linear, that, you know, it it, it, it all worked out for me. So, Metroid Dread, number nine. Number eight, Into the Breach. Into the Breach was a really fun strategy RPG. I liked it because you could get it in small bites and small sizes. It's a hard game, but it's also really rewarding as you move forward with the story. I enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. I got it both as a uh, digital and as a physical game. I enjoyed it that much. And yeah, Into the Breach was really fun. You fight a bunch of kaijus and you have a bunch of different robots and rockets and tanks and stuff that you can uh, play against those kaijus or those monsters. And yeah, the, the mechanics and the strategy of it was just really fun for me. So that's my I, don't, I forgot what number we're on. Number eight, I think. Number seven, I'm gonna cheat because this is two games. Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares is just fun. Little Nightmares is creepy. I'm not really into horror games as much, but Little Nightmares was creepy enough that I felt creeped out, but not creepy enough that I felt scared. But the platforming on it was really fun and I like that the platform and the way you go about the game kind of tells you a story. No word has been said about any story. Nobody speaks, none, none of that. But you kind of get what's happening through the game as it goes. And that's what I really enjoy about it. And I thought it was really fun. And I'm really excited about Little Nightmares 3 and where that's gonna go. Number six. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, a lot of people only talk about Bowser's Fury with this game, but I really enjoy Super Mario 3D World. I missed out on the Wii U generation of those games, 
and I was happy that they ported this one over. And it was really fun because I could get Mario in a bite-sized piece and then just go. It was fun with four players as well. And of course, Bowser's Fury, the whole nother game when you're Cat Mario, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan? I don't know, I never really watched Dragon Ball Z, so I'm a poser with that. But you know, you get the whole Super Mario, Super Cat Mario thing and the Kaiju battle with him and Big, Big Bowser. That's, that's really cool. That's an amazing addition to an already amazing game. And yeah, Super Mario 3D World is great number five are we in top five i'm not keeping track are you keeping track oh boy maybe this is why i shouldn't do these lists while driving but number five is tokyo mirage sessions sharp fe reborn or whatever whatever is after that um but a great japanese rpg i know they promised us a fire emblem crossed with shin megami tensei and it didn't really happen the way we thought it would but this one was great. This one was a fun RPG um, with like Japanese idols and Fire Emblem characters. And yeah, the, the temples were okay, but the gameplay was really fun. I, I did enjoy the story, even though it was a little tropey. Um, but, you know, I finished it. It was a long game, but I finished it. And I loved the battle system where you combine and you're finishing moves and all of that. Again, I forgot what it was called, but I loved it. It was fun. Um, and I had a great time with Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE. Number four, The Witcher 3. Is that cheating? Because it was an Xbox 360 game and then it was an Xbox game and then it was ported to the Switch. Maybe, but it's my list. I love the Switcher 3. The Switcher 3, huh? I mean, playing the Witcher 3 in the bathroom, yeah, I said it, or anywhere else in the house, it's just amazing. What a time to be alive. That's one of my comfort games. It's one of the games that I love playing all the time. Even if I don't have any um, other game to play, I could just do that game real quick and do a side mission or do the DLC, which was great. The DLC was great. I don't like DLCs. I don't really play DLCs, but this DLC was amazing and it added so much more to the story and I enjoyed playing it and I could replay that game all the time. So Witcher 3, my number four game there. We're in the top three now, I think, hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully you guys have been keeping count, keeping score. But number three, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I loved Fire Emblem Three Houses. Fire Emblem Three Houses was fun. It made me feel like I was in Hogwarts and I was one of the teachers in Hogwarts, even though there was only three houses. I replayed that game with all four endings. Somebody told me there was a like a fifth ending. I got to replay that game again um, for that, but man, I, I like, yeah, I love this so much. I replayed the game. I replayed the game over and over again um, just so I could play with the different armies, even though I kind of already had my mains and I just used my resources to get back those soldiers. I was still in a different house. And yeah, Fire Emblem's Three Houses, I thought told a compelling story. I know, yes, the battle system of Fire Emblem Engage was a lot more dynamic and better than Fire Emblem Three Houses, but I enjoyed the story a lot more in Three Houses. I cared way more about the characters in Three Houses. And yeah, and it's my list. So Fire Emblem Three Houses was great. Number two, Pokemon, let's go Pikachu. Yeah, I said it, I loved it. I love Pokemon. Um, I don't really like the games, but I'm into Pokemon and I love Let's Go Pikachu. Like, it was simple for me. It was it was cute. I love Pikachu. I love the Kanto region. And yeah, I loved Let's Go Pikachu. I, I didn't like any of the other games of that. And I don't know if it's the nostalgia. I don't know. Well, it might not be because I, I never played the Pokemon games coming up. I couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into all the other Pokemon games, but I really enjoyed Let's Go Pikachu. And you know, with a special mention as well to Pokemon Legend Arceus. Pokemon Legend Arceus was great as well. I'm gonna I'm put that in the list. I don't know what number I am, but I've, that's also great. 
I, I like uh, Feudal Japan and the open world and sneaking up to Pokemon and catching them and trying to catch them all. I heard that somewhere, or maybe I made that up, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that was an amazing and fun game for me. And the last game, the number one game that I love, of my top 10 list of Switch games of all time that I own, Persona 5 Royal. Yeah, it's a port. Yeah, it's a PS4 game. PS3 game as well. But I loved it. I, I thought the story was compelling. The story was, you know, it had some darkness to it, but enough light and fluffy stuff that made me happy and not go too deep into depression, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I love the Phantom Thieves. The Phantom Thieves and Joker and that gang was really fun for me. And yeah, it's the best JRPG I've ever played. And if I don't include Mario and Zelda, I will say Persona 5 Royal is the best game on the Switch of all time that I own. What are some of the games that you enjoy? What are some of the games that I left out on my list that I should try out? Um, please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I have really been enjoying hanging out and spending some time with you guys and talking about games. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys later or I will see you another time.